Well, the time of reckoning has come, boys. You heard the title. The Mighty Omega Rant. Yeah. Talking about this game today. So, it's just a random idea I just got out of nowhere. I wonder if I should start writing scripts for these videos. Tell me down in the comments if I should start writing scripts. That would be amazing. Um, and make my videos a lot more choreographed, if that's the right word. Or, or organized. So, um, yeah, let's get down to Mighty Omega. Let's do a brief explanation of the game. Mighty Omega is a fighting game that released on Roblox and is inspired by Kengen Ashura and a Roblox game called Ken Omega and many other games that are like Ken Omega based. This game just so happens to be, in my opinion, the best one that's released in terms of the combat system and everything. Um, now, first thing, this game is like really good actually. Like, the trainings are cheap. You don't waste your entire bank account doing trainings. This is the first fighting game I played where training durability isn't like killing yourself in real life over and over. Um, like, I literally did durability training for like an hour and I have 100 durability. Like, what? Like, dude, like. But um, there are no durability requirements to get a style in this game, which is beautiful. And, um... Yeah, this game is like really, really good. Nice moves. You can mix up moves from like different uh, styles. You actually have to get style XP from training in your dojo and a lot of stuff. But this is stuff like most of you guys already know about Mighty Omega. So now you may be like, miss me, <laughs> miss me. <laughs> well, I'm missing <racing> game back. <laughs> nice. Man. Like, no, like, okay, how to, bro, bro, this game, bro, you can get robbed, bro. You start the game off with a two-day long, in real life, two-day new protection, bro. After it's gone, it's up, nigga. You can just be training, bro. That's why I'm scared to farm up, like, a good amount of money, bro. And then the food is so expensive. So you have to have a good amount of money on you if you're going for a training session. Like, it just doesn't work like that. And then I got logger's disability the last time I played this. I forgot. Because two niggas ran up on me, and I logged before they hit me on my screen. But they, 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 they hit me. And, yeah, bro, this, this, this is a painful game to play bro when you get robbed right because you can just get jumped by six niggas that are all in the same game and they'll rob you right and then they'll take even more money because they'll grip you like you get robbed and then you get gripped it's a two-piece combo bro that nobody wants to get hit with like nobody likes that and anyways i'm about to change to my boxing tracksuit hoodie real quick hold up like look at how fast these niggas are bro these niggas still be no life bro hey bro but um the training in this game isn't that bad so I, I can see why they're no life. And it's, it's not terrible at all. Um, yeah, it's not terrible at all. So, Gucci. But, um. <laughs> oh my god. Something on my tongue, man. Alright, here we go. On to my next complaint about Mighty Omega. Okay, I already addressed the fact that the foods literally cost like 55 Like, just to get a bowl of ramen, you need to pay $55. 55 i swear the prices have went down for a little but now they're right back up like i remember chicken fries were like 10 for a bit now it's back to 20 and why they did that i have no clue anyways i'm gonna check your check my stats bro let you be known i grinded this game seriously for like two days and then i just started like coasting with my grinding but these are my stats yeah these are my stats right here. Now, I must say, it's pretty easy to get every stat in this game. And like, it's not hard. So, if you guys are like gonna complain and be like, oh my god, it's another grindy like Ken Omega, it's not hard at all to get stats. Like, and even when somebody has higher stats than you, if you're like legitimately better than them at the game, you can still manage to beat them. Like, you're like, you, you like. You can fight someone with max durability, but it you're most likely gonna lose because it's gonna take you a long time to beat them. But you will, you can beat them, like like as long as you got like 20 striking power or something. It's not that hard to get striking power. But um, yeah. Next thing, in this game you have body fatigue. Your body fatigue goes up whenever you do something that would fatigue your body in real life. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have to come to the hospital or rent an apartment in the game to sleep in the beds. Luckily, there's a force field, so niggas can't just RK you while you're, like, sleeping. But my complaint about this is, bro, you have to sleep for, like, an hour to get rid of, like, 50 body fatigue. Some people really just want to be on the grind, like, that heavy. And I understand this probably to, like, prevent, like, macros and, like, like, like if you got, like, schoolwork to do, like, you can be like, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to knock this out while I'm doing this. But, like... Bro, some of these niggas' life is this game. Is that gone? Hey, peep the new channel banner, bro. Shout out to Ban Stitches, bro. That's my nigga, bro. But, um, yeah, bro, that is gone. <laughs> I'm like, bro, why, why is that nigga gone over there in the corner looking like that, bro? That nigga looks disgusting. Oh, God, bro. But Mighty Omega, bro, my final complaint. This is, this is just a short video because I don't have many complaints on this game. Like, um, Mighty Omega is actually a really solid, really good game. And, like, I really recommend that you guys play it. The problem is, like, a lot of people get bored of it really fast because they're not really updating, like, a lot of stuff that's really, like, towards where you get stronger. It's for, like, newer players, if that makes sense. Like, oh, he, I thought he was doing durability. But, yeah, it's for, um, like... They're adding new styles. Jiu-Jitsu is about to be in the game. I really want to test it out Jiu-Jitsu. And I feel like Taekwondo is going to be goaded in this game. So, um, yeah. But on to the final complaint while I'm over here jibber-jabbering, bro. My final complaint about Mighty Omega, bro. Is the fact that this game still isn't free, bro. This game still isn't free, bro. And you know how I feel about games that take too long to become free. Come on, bro. Like, all the noobs, dude, they're not ever going to reach, like, our stat levels. Like, like the people who actually play the, play the game and paid access, they're never going to be up here with us, bro. Because we're just going to keep getting stronger when the game fully releases. Like, I expected the game to be, like, paid access for, like, a week, a week. It's been paid access for a, almost a month. Or, like, it's been paid access for, like, three weeks, bro. Like, release the game for free. Like, I know no people that make Mighty Omega will ever watch my videos, bro. But we hit big 300, so you know I'm feeling a little prestigious thanks to y'all. Y'all, okay, I see y'all in the field, bro. But hey, the real thing here though that I'm talking about, bro, y'all need to release the game. And I don't know what I mean when I say y'all, but they need to release the game, bro. And I know some of y'all that's gonna be in the comments, y'all gonna feel the exact same way, bro. This game needs to be free to the public, cause low key, what's gonna happen is if they don't drop any content, the game is gonna start dying. Then they're gonna be forced to release it. And then what's it called? When they forced to release it, they gon' bro. People that's been stalking the game, hype for the game, they already gonna see the hype been dying down. So then they gonna play the game. They gonna be hyped for like three days. They friends gonna tell them, hey yo, I got bored of that game so quick. And then they gonna get bored too. And then you gonna have to force yourself to push out an update. And then your game is repeatedly gonna be like that. It's gonna be like, oh, update, play for like a week, die, update. Play for like a week. Die. You want a game that's going to be able to like sustain players repetitively. Like a game that will really keep people in capture. And that's really hard for a fighting game. But I think Mighty Omega actually does a decent job of that. Which is actually like amazing bro. Like a Roblox game being able to keep people like enticed. A fighting game on Roblox. That's really beautiful bro. But yeah this is just how I feel about Mighty Omega bro. Really good game. Really really good game. And, but yeah, let me get my screenshot for the thumbnail. Anyways, hold up, hold up. It's been Mystic. <laughs> and until next time.